every year students are moving abroad for higher education in the United States through the F-1 visa or M-1 visa. As the U.S. offers many top class learning institutions and cities for everyone, many individuals are getting more and more serious about making the move. When applying for a U.S. student visa, the applicant is asked to provide proof that they can financially support themselves while studying in the United States. In most cases, whether it's to cover tuition finances or simply cover your day-to-day -day expenses, students are usually interested in their job options. If you're interested in working in the United States as an international student, you may qualify for one of these four options. Most international students in the U.S. looking to work while studying will stick to on-campus employment for a few reasons. For starters, this is a great choice for those who don't have a good source of transportation and would like to stay local. More importantly, this is the only type of job available to students in their first academic year, allowing you to work that takes place on campus or at an educationally affiliated off-campus location. Off-campus employment is only available to international students who have completed one full academic year and who have a qualifying economic hardship or an emergent circumstance, such as losing financial aid, a large increase in tuition, an unexpected large medical bill, or other hardships like this. Curricular Practical Training, also known as CPT, was designed for students to engage in real-world experiences within the field that they are studying. This is similar to an internship or a practicum with a partnering employer. Unlike other employment categories, CPT can be full-time with no weekly hour limits. You can also have more than one CPT authorization at the same time. To qualify for CPT, you must have completed one full academic year unless you're a graduate student whose program requires immediate CPT. Once you finish the year or more of full-time CPT, you are officially ineligible for optional practical training, which is OPT. OPT refers to temporary jobs relating to the field for up to 12 months. To qualify for optional practical training, your school will need to endorse your application and submit it to the USCIS. There are two subcategories within OPT, which is pre-completion and post-completion OPT. The difference between these two categories is for those who start OPT a year into their studies or those who start OPT after completing their studies. If you are planning on making this move to the United States for higher education, working while studying may be something that you are interested in to financially cover your stay in the U.S. I hope this video has helped you better understand your working options as an international student in the States. If you or someone you know is interested in professional help for applying for a U.S. student visa, VisaPlace has a professional waiting to advise you in the right direction to reach your immigration goals. Book a consultation to get started and we can't wait to work with you.